Hi, hello. My name is Melissa Tencio. I work for the Costa Rican Tourism Board. Um, we have been asked for the UNED and the Savonia University to talk a little bit about wellness, uh, wellness overview and also wellness for Costa Rica. Uh, we, and three years ago, kind of like that, we have created um, a strategy that is called Wellness Pura Vida. And it looks after position Costa Rica in the midterm uh, as a country in a, a specialized in a wellness destination. So we are going to talk about the generality of the um, industry around the world and also a little bit about Costa Rica. Okay, what wellness tourism would be or is? Because we have to make that the, the definition is starting the wellness or well being is one thing, and wellness tourism could be another thing. Being in a well being means that you doesn't, doesn't mean that you are traveling, you live in the balance of your life. And wellness tourism means that you are looking to get that balance within your vacations too. And it is defined as the form of tourism which aims to improve the balance in all the main domains of your life. It doesn't matter, it could be your emotional part, those physical, that part, the mental part, the occupational, the intellectual, or even the spiritual, because some of the destinations have been focused on that specific area. The primary motivation of the tourists that are doing wellness tourism is to engage that preventive proactive lifestyle that they already have or they are looking to have. Enhancing activities such as fitness, helping eating, relaxation, pampering yourself or healing treat treatments. Those are the main um, domains of physical or your life. They are included in the wellness tourism. Some general data and figures about wellness. Um, the wellness economy, uh, the Wellness Institute has been developed, I think from 2015 or 2013, some data about the big component of wellness tourism, wellness tourism and all the things that are included in there. And of course, it's still the beauty and entry aging, which is a huge thing around the world, but also the wellness tourism as itself. Like it, it includes us uh, as a country that we want to have a little bit of that pipe that means that it increase of, in terms of growth rate has been almost 7% from, through, uh, from 2013 to 2015. We don't have the specific dates uh, data for these last three years and especially from the pandemic year, but right? But it's in a very, very important uh, sector of the general tourism. As you see, wellness tourism by region, it has a lot of money included, especially in the States. They have been doing a lot of millions of trips outbound to several um, countries to do wellness activities. Also, those are the top wellness destinations according to the clients interested. As you see, Hawaii has been recognized, especially in the States, for that part of, um, of the tour or the destinations. Arizona, of course, but they have developed um, what we call destination spas or destination spots that people is looking to go and find that specific spa, not a spa or a spot. Not the destination as itself, they're not looking like, for example, for Costa Rica or Arizona, they are looking for Canyon uh, Isle, a Canyon um, Ranch. That's that the difference with, uh, between Arizona, for example, and Costa Rica. And of course, you can see there, the non-USA non destinations are up there and a lot of the Caribbeans and also Mexico, Europe, because they have been known by um, destination for wellness, especially in thermalism. This is another part of the wellness market for the physical activity. And why I put this in here? Because a lot of the 
um, a strategy for Costa Rica, it's outdoors, have to be outdoors because we are like pioneers on doing adventure activity, outdoors activities. And we have to take advantage of having this amazing weather that we have and take a lot of the activities out there, especially now during the pandemic and afterwards, a lot of people is going to ask for more outdoor activities, even a spa, even activities that were uh, like thought about doing it inside, we are doing it outside now. So this is also another important thing for Costa Rica and for some other Latin countries about the thermal mineral um, springs in the region, because as you may see here, uh, United States doesn't have, or all the North American area, doesn't have that much spots from uh, thermalism. And look at the, the, the southern part of the continent, they have a lot of spots and we are not taking advantage of that. This is one of the strategies for Costa Rica to take advantage of the natural beauty of the natural resources to put in perspective for you guys in the, in the States or any other um, uh, markets. And the other part, those are the 10 sport and active recreation markets within Latin America. And as you see that even Costa Rica is a very small country is in that rank. So for us, it's very important to keep us ourselves in there because we have a big competitors, but we are still struggling in there, even though that we don't have the amount of money or uh, to promote ourselves as they do. And uh, this is also very important market in terms of physical activity. And why I'm focused on a lot of physical activity is because people during the pandemic had um, recognize the important the importance of being active to be well to be a, a to have the balance on their life so this is very important for us because people have is, is having uh, projections of what markets are important to do several activities as you may think for example um yoga yoga is very important as a way of living in india so if you are looking to get a yoga retreat is very kind of likely that you are going you want to go to um india even though we are not the experts in yoga costa rica has things that india doesn't have and people can do that the combination between yoga and yoga outdoors or yoga hot or any other kind of yoga but being outdoors and not being like inside out and inside doors the new trends, believe it or not, one of them is mushrooms emerge for underground. Those are, those are trends that are not all the ones that Costa Rica has for this tragedy. Some of them are right, right out there, but we don't want them to promote it in Costa Rica because they don't fit to the national strategy of tourism generally. It doesn't mean not just for the, for the wellness, a strategy, not for the general country. Those are not the clients that we want to promote to come to Costa Rica. Uh, we have a minister that she used to say that we want those clients, those tourists that we will invite to our homes because they are going to take care of our country. Also, the other trend is the new area of transformative wellness travel. travel. We are into that because we want to have this generation of new travelers looking to get better, to get fit, to get new ways of eating, new ways of living. The other part is this thing that is coming out. I don't know if you are familiar with that. A lot of people is taking a pre-born vacations and after born vacations, in a different way, they they want to take this pre preconception and paternity equation within the wellness industry. The other part, of course, is very well known, the gastronomy, the wellness kitchen, and it's about catching up with the healthy eating. Whenever someone comes to Costa Rica, they are amazed of the many kind of um, vegetables and fruits that we have. So people can start learning how I know that the, the, the um, 
way to get those products in some other countries are not that easy as in the tropical countries, but you can still get the way to cook them, the way to eat in a different way. So a, a lot of people also is traveling to learn how to eat better. The other trend is getting clean air back together. Can you imagine what this, this can be for a country like Costa Rica that a lot of activities are outside? So that's one of the trends that could fit exactly for Costa Rica or what Costa Rica wants to bring down. Extremely wellness uh, um, activities, of course, this is something that we are um, engaging with people because we have been very well known for the adventure activities and we are including those wellness activities. For example, a lot of people here is doing surfing, which is kind of stream for some people, and they do yoga out uh, besides that because yoga gives them a little bit of the balance in their body that they need for, a, for surfers. So it's a good combination. A lot of yogis are not into that. They're really spiritual joggers, but the ones that are uh, more physical than uh, spiritual, they are looking for that combination of activities. The other is wellness meets happiness. Costa Rica has been named for one of the best or the happiest countries in the world for several ranks. So we are so into that because it's also getting the, the balance or knowing what is happening for uh, happiness for you. It doesn't mean that you are happy all the time, that you are um, smiling all the time. It's that you have the balance in your life and you can find it here. The other one is the new feminist wellness. The feminism is getting everywhere and is including also in wellness. And this includes solo travelers. There are many blogs, many Facebook groups about solo travelers. Uh, think in America or the whole continent, we are not that familiar with traveling solo, especially women. But in Europe, you can see everyone is traveling by themselves. So this is a new trend that is coming to America, but it's not new for, uh, for Europe or other, or other continents. As I was saying, not all of them fit for Costa Rica, but some of them does. Also, for wellness, the post-COVID challenges, patterns had changed. Now the critical factors are people is more conscious about the decisions they are making. Where I am going? What are the restrictions or the requirements that the country is asking? What is the time to do the reservation? They are shortening times. Is less time that I'm going to spend in that destination? What other services that they can give me? What about the protocols in the spas? Are they outside the spas or everything is inside? How many people they are allowing to do the treatments within a treatment um, a spot? Higher expe expectations for wellness and health. Imagine that Costa Rica has one of the best um, health systems knowing in America. So this is what is continued to be on the radar and is going to be more important nowadays. Also the price value sensitivity is a lot of people is not looking to lose money as they have because they have to cancel their flights. A lot of people is using now insurances even though are not being asked in Costa Rica they are asked, but a lot of people doesn't want to get them uh, to lose their money because this COVID situation. And of course, one of the most critical factors is the sanitary hygienic issues, the spa standards, for example. And we have to be very careful, not just in Costa Rica, every single country in the industry that is involved on this, we have to take care of every single protocol that we can in order to avoid the spread of COVID. This is the new concept, uh, consumption and behavior and consumer behavior that I've been asked for them, for the, this company that we hired last year, is the, what is the most important motivations for people when they're looking or booking for a wellness vacations? 
They want to return their lives being rejuvenated. They want to escape the demands of every day's life. They want to explore activities outdoors. They want to feel better. They want to connect with nature more than ever. They want to find peace and quiet. I am I'm working at the airport and some people is always asking me, where are not the tourists? I want to go there. They want to know the local places. They want to avoid the messy um, uh, tourists. So this is one thing that Costa Rica needs to take advantage of that. To get a better night sleep. When I, when I read this, I was like, oh, damn, sorry. I sleep so good. How come some people don't, are not sleeping well? Well, imagine there are some people that are here are coming for silent vacations. They don't want to hear not even a bird, which is kind of impossible in Costa Rica, but they are looking for that because they don't have that back in their, in their homes. So this is very important to learn general ways to improve my health. And we, when I'm talking about Costa Rica later on this presentation, I'm gonna tell you why Costa Rica can give all this or most of these things to the clients they're looking. Over 20% indicated they will be extremely likely to book a wellness destination within the next few years. Even though that they don't know what's going to happen with the pandemic, they are more extremely likely to book. And 20% from the pie is good enough for Costa Rica. It could be better, but we can take that part of the pie. And over 24% in the Okay, the wellness school or will be the focus on their next, next trip because they are looking to go away from that madness, craziness that they have back in, the, in their countries. Also, the grow on wellness travelers who purchase some kind of services treatment had, had, um, is going to increase according to the two people that have been asked, the industry and the academia. And going to Costa Rica specifically, what Costa Rica is looking to promote uh, wellness as a destination is to diversify, diversify their tourist offer. Working on the design and the part of the commercialization of the new tourist products at Sincel, for example, we have a lot of thermal springs, but we have been being promoted as a healing process or as a healing treatment. It's just warm water that we are promoting. It's not like that. They have minerals that can help you to avoid or to prevent some illness. And also that for years, of course, we have been known, especially by vacations, and we need to expand that offer in order to give the tourists other options and to attack or to take a little bit of the pie or other niches as wellness will be. Why we do that? The industry is about $639 billion. So it's a lot of money involved on that. And we want to take the pie of that. Also, people this is spending 130% more than the standard visitor. That means the I do my effort to catch one tourist and they will spend 130% more than the regular tourist. Wellness is shifting from a trend to the way of life, which means that people is understanding that it's not like a batch experience. They want to live a better life. And this is why they are choosing destinations that fit with their requirements. Also, Costa Rica has been already known in the rather for wellness services. And the pandemic has shifted, as I was saying before, our way of seeing life. With Costa Rica already had experience well-being, and we have the facts to prove it. We are being called in the Happy Planet Index and all the happiness index and ranks that are over the world. When we start this, it was just one and now the forum, economic forum, uh, whatever has one, the force have one. So everyone is doing their own ranks, but Costa Rica is always present on that. 
the social progress index in Costa Rica means that how the tourist destinations, as for example, I'm gonna call um, La Fortuna, how they are improving their, their um, progress in terms of social and economic to the tourist uh, activities. That means that tourists affect in a positive way to that community. Also, of course, the social stability and how and in high public health standards are being known and especially nowadays with the pandemic that Costa Rica still have their uh, high standard levels and also the social stability. Doesn't mean that even if you get stuck here, for example, a lot of people have stuck here during the pandemic, that we are going to throw them away. It hasn't been happened. We have been very flexible about the rules to have them and be, and be quiet and be tranquil about staying here. So these things that are not happening in other con uh, countries in even Latin America. And also we have the largest blue zone in Costa Rica that give us the, the facts to prove that Costa Rica really lives or at least most of the Costa Ricans live a very healthy life. life. And what this is important for the tourists is because we are, we are uh, talking by our word. We are experiencing that. And one of the things is, also, uh, this is in Spanish, but it can be well written, is uh, bienestar means wellness. When people come here and they say, what kind of activities have been doing, the four group of activities are wellness. So this is in, and in, in, as you see, there's not that much big difference between adventure and uh, wellness. So it's very important. And that means the two airports, international airports that we have. So why is wellness for Costa Rica very important? Or why do Costa, uh, why you can do Costa Rica as a wellness destination? Because we have the nature and culture of doing that. The treatments and products, we have the companies that specialize on doing wellness. Also our lifestyle speak or way of living and the facilities that we have to get from Guanacaste to La Fortuna are very, very well known. And a lot of people is already in the country, but we are trying to get more people to do different activities. They already have come or they are thinking to come. So what we want is people to start doing new activities and taking advantage of the facilities, of the nature, of the culture that we already have. For example, in terms of nature, we have to take care or take advantage of the hot springs, then in Europe, hot springs doesn't mean anything. We need to call thermal mineral waters, which means that they are medicinal waters. Ocean and sea, of course, we have oceans and sea all over the place, right? Indigenous traditions, they already in plants and herbs. Also, a lot of people is coming here to do plant-based um, diet and cetera. We are covered for 50% of uh, the land is covered by, by forest. So you can have a lot of earthing and forest bathing around the country. A lot of treatments and also signature treatments based on coffee, cacao, and all, all the fruits that we have here. Local brands and products. We have this thing that is called sodas that maybe you are not familiar, but they are very small restaurants and they serve the best casado and the best eh, gallo pinto ever. And it's based of the, of the, um, of the cooking or the eh, gastronomy in Costa Rica. The Pura Vida approach is something that I'm not getting into explain you, but also has been very well known because Costa Rica has this way of living and this way to express the, their lives that it engage people to live better. Uh, and the other one is the facilities with, we have very high end spas, even day spas or um, spa, retreat spas. Also the hotels and resorts with the Pura Vida kind of spa um, facilities, the retreats for yoga, and sometimes they are um, uh, combining the retreats with the uh, yoga camps. So especially in 
two specific areas in Costa Rica, they are working together very well, the yoga and the surfer and the surfer camps and the destination spas. I was telling you, for example, if you think in Arizona, you think about um, Canyon Ranch. You don't think about the, the state and itself, you are having a destination spa in your mind. And I'm gonna share with you the video that we have uh, developed for this new um, phase, as we call the after pandemic. What I have to share with you, as you've seen, we have seen an overview of the wellness industry. And I think the video uh, trying to do is trying to brief every single um, aspect of what we are looking to catch with the new tourism in wellness as a wellness destination for Costa Rica. We are not leaving behind the adventure activities because you are doing just wellness because we believe that it can be um, mixed and, ma and match all of them in the same trip. And one of the most amazing things that we believe that Costa Rica has um, not to compare to other destinations is to have to take advantage of our, the nature that we have and the outdoors activities that we can do. So this presentation is going to be out there for you. I cannot share the video, so I'm going to take it out and share the presentation to Pamela, and she can share it with you. Thank you so much. <laughs> 